Good morning, everyone. Uh, happy summer break to uh, a lot of you. Um, this is my first summer break in about 17 years. Uh, I've, I've had the last couple days, um, well, kind of off. I mean, I've been doing um, some lessons here and there, but uh, it's it's been nice to kind of relax for once and kind of get my bearings and and uh, you know spend some time with my family. So summer break is awesome. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Stay safe. Stay smart. Um, today I just wanted to uh, uh, go over the pitch called the sinker. Um, a lot of people um, don't understand exactly what it is um, and and how to throw it. Ba basically, a sinker is a two seam fastball. Um, there's different ways that some people grip it. Um, you know, the traditional two seam grip is just like this. I like to have the the fingers on the the uh, skinny part of the ball. Some people go a little bit wider. Some people go a little bit further back on it. Um, I, I just like to be um, the traditional two seam here, just like this. Um, some people will throw a two seam or a sinker with the fingers inside the seams, or so your, your fingers aren't touching uh, seams at all. Um, I don't like that. One, one of my favorite pitching coaches of all time was the old Braves uh, pitching coach. His name is Leo Mazzoni, um, and he's got a book that it's from like 1996, but um, it's one of my favorite pitching books. It's super simple. It's super basic. And one of the main things that he preaches in that book and that he preached with all of his guys that, that he taught, and, and you're talking the likes, likes of Greg Maddox, uh, Tom Glavin, John Smoltz, all those guys, um, he recommends that anytime you throw a pitch, you want to get fingers as much on the seams as possible because what that does is the seams create friction between the seams in your fingers and your hand. More friction creates spin. More spin equals movement. More spin equals speed. Um, so I, I, I tend to not like uh, people to throw those two seamers in. Now, if you're comfortable doing that and that, that pitch works for you, certainly do it. Um, you know, everyone, you know, there's different ways to skin a cat. So, you know, all these things that, that I teach and, and talk about doesn't mean that there's other ways to do it. This is just the way that I did it or that I teach it and, and the ways that I've seen it um, work and succeed in game. So back to the, to the sinker. So a lot of guys I will see sometimes they'll kind of angle their finger on the ball a little bit, but the key is the pronation of the hand on it. Um, you know, we have to understand and, and know that no matter what pitch we throw on the pull down phase of our arm, kind of like I talked before on my pronation supination video, that our hand is going to pronate. It's a natural human tendency for that arm to kind of turn away after we release a ball, just like a, a quarterback, like Aaron Rodgers throwing a football. He's here. And to get that spiral, that hand needs to, to pronate and the thumb needs to go down and the palm needs to go away from the body as he's finishing his throw for that spiral to go. And that's a natural um, throw. Um, so thinking about that pitch, you know, it's the two seam. You know, the other thing too that I, I'm really starting to uh, teach more is to really curl that thumb up underneath. We, a lot of people don't talk about the thumb positioning um, when we throw pitches, especially fastballs like this is my four seam. I want to make sure the thumb is is curled. Now, if you're a really young kid and you don't have big enough fingers yet, obviously just have the thumb up underneath the middle of the ball there. But if you're a high school kid that has big fingers, okay, just turn that thumb in so that thumb doesn't have any influence on the ball. We want that, that ball to come out of our two fingers smoothly and cleanly so we get the correct spin, so we can get the correct movement on the baseball. So, uh, you know, and again, back to that sinker, you know, guys in the big leagues, um, a really good sinker baller for the Brewers. Uh, Matt Albers had a great year last year. I believe he was with the Nationals. Um, great two seam sinker, you know, 90 to 92, gets a ton of ground balls. Ground ball pitcher, you know, he's a sinker slider guy because he's a, in a, a low three quarter arm angle. That's another thing to take into consideration too is your arm slot. You know, if you have a higher arm slot, you're not going to be able to get as much sink on the ball. Whereas if you have a little bit lower of an arm slot down here, like a low three quarters where you can really get on top of the ball and, and sink it to when you pronate it, that's going to allow that ball to, to really sink as it gets to home plate. So if you throw a natural two seamer from up top, you're going to get some east and west movement or west to east movement, depending on what arm you pitch with. Um, but lowering that arm slot tends to give you some more run on the ball. So a lot of those Sidearm guys, um, guy I you know played against in college, Joe Smith. He's been in the big leagues for 12, 13 years, and he's a sidearm pitcher, and he throws two pitches. Well, he throws a, a changeup too, but mostly he two seam sinks it from sidearm, and then he throws like a uh, like a huge swooping uh, slider. 
so he's a sinker slider guy. He's a, you know, he comes in and tries to get a couple ground balls and that that's his, that's his job. So the sinker, um, you know, so the next time you think about it, it's, it's a two seam fastball that we pronate our hand on before we release it. And that's going to help get the sink on the ball. The other thing that you can do too, is try to put some added pressure on your pointer finger, your index finger there. Okay. And that'll help reverse that spin of the ball so it can sink. Okay. And that goes the same for lefties or righties. So uh, pointer finger, index finger, put some more pressure on it. So hopefully that helps if you guys, especially guys that have low three quarter arm slots, it's a great pitch uh, to really get some sink on, get some ground balls and get a lot of outs and double plays. So uh, thanks guys. I'll do another one here in the next couple days. Um, it'll, uh, I'm going to try to focus on some hitting on the next one. So thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Um, and we'll talk to you guys soon.